From the M Resort in Las Vegas, it's the unique league tournament where 12 of the greatest poker players on the planet are battling it out for a one and a half million dollar prize pool. It's the Party Poker Premier League Poker 4. Our 12 Premier League players have over $45 million in tournament winnings, have notched up 19 World Series of Poker bracelets between them, and have won every major title going. They are poker's elite, joined for the very first time by an online qualifier who this season won his way through with just $100. But only one can become the Premier League Poker Season 4 champion. Last time, Locke made it two out of two. Oh! Can we get security? <laughs> I'm running so hard. If I'm wrong, I just I sometimes just get there. No! Ding, 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 ding. No, no way! Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what's going on? Can we have security look through these decks next time? I mean, I might have a friend I don't know about or something. This is like pretty ridiculous. My guardian angel came down and helped me whenever I needed help. The few times she wasn't there, it was all good because she was just taking a coffee break and came back and saved me later. Helmuth made the headlines with his blow up. The first time around, my ego got into it too much. And, uh, you know, and I got too emotional. I'm gonna punish you, I promise. You don't take it to a personal level, I mean, it's just poker. You've declared war, I've accepted your terms. I'm gonna try really hard to, you know, stay above the fray and realize, hey, I'm an 11 time world champion. They can say this or that or whatever but basically I've earned the respect of the poker world. So I'm gonna mess you up. Final. Now, now I'm really on tilt. I'm gonna read every hand history. We're gonna fucking dance. Casey's not playing tomorrow. And if you wanna play some heads up after this, I'm, I'm available too. I need to continue to remember who I am, and I need to show a, a lot more class at the table. And Negranu and the Wolf are on hand to push him over the edge. When you go out there, as Phil Helmley does, and says, I'm the greatest Holden player in the world by far, I find it laughable, so when you put a target on your back, I'm gonna throw darts at it, and Phil Hellmuth repeatedly does that. I think that Phil's kind of been left behind by poker in the last few years. You know, he can't compete even in like simple sit and goes. I mean, I needle Phil all the time, he hasn't won a 10K buy-in for, for 20 years. I can't figure out, really, if he's just lying to the public to try to pretend that he's the best for some marketing reasons, or that he's just delusional enough to think that he is, and the problem with his game is that today, just the young online players are simply so much more fundamentally stronger than he is in terms of skill. Like, they are just better. And I don't think he's come to terms with that yet. I think he's gonna be outclassed here, for sure. I mean, you know, he might be able to sneak a, sneak a sixth or a fifth, but, you know, he's gonna need so much luck to win the way he plays. Yeah, oh no, I did one zap on my chest after going my back. I was supposed to do both. I did one zap, and he goes, well, let's see, we'll do it where it doesn't hurt. It went, ah! I was like, no, no, no. You know what I saw there? It was so funny. I was getting out, and Agassi was getting out at the same Things time. Things look relaxed and jovial as the players it. discuss yeah, waxing pre-match. Um, but then, uh, what was I gonna say? I, I, I didn't do it with the numbing cream at all. Like, you're supposed to have numbing cream on. What did you put up? I, they told me, uh, you were fine with your neck, so it should be okay. But I'll never do that again. League standings after two matches, Phil Locke made it two out of two, and a great start for defending champion J.C. Tran, while DeWolf and Benjamin both in action today. In the playoff zone, Timoshenko's got eight points, but he's already played twice. Russo and Safina both stepped to the felt, and a good showing would secure their places in the top eight. And it's big news in the relegation zone. Helmuth, Fraser, and Agrano all in action. They need big points or they'll be back against the wall. A win for any of them would see them in the top four. Let's catch up with your commentators, Jesse May and Luke Full Flush Schwartz. Third heat of the Premier League Poker 4 coming up. And uh, this is a big heat, Luke, because a lot of guys in this heat right now need points badly. I mean, especially Negreanu, who got the bagel last time out. Uh, it's a film uh, helmet. <laughs> he says he woke up today and remembered who he was, and that's put the smile back on his face. A lot of banter on this table to start. It's almost like a romper room. I raised every hand for like a ten in a row yesterday. I was so tilted, right? Why? Why were you tilted? 
How bad I, that I got it, well at first I started coming over the top it worked every time so I started doing it more and it worked every time and then I just started just so raising every hand and JC whooped you and then happened. I finished in six no then JC did a little boom so boom you know to the you. playing every hand Pulse. strategy might not be the best because JC is one of the best poker players in the world <laughs> JC Tran he was a, he's the defending champ here at the Premier League did you know that he's a great player man he's excellent no doubt about it I complimented him in my uh, Twitter yeah. in uh, heat oh, number two Roland came out of the box and just well, basically like assaulted Hellman <laughs> verbally, <laughs> but he's got Negrano here yeah, to pick up the slack tonight. Timoshenko. Sup? So. Raised to 6,000. A lot of people have been saying Timoshenko overall may be the best player so far in this what, Premier League. What, he raised to 6,000? Not enough. I'm going to put more in. He that made, uh, a raise, right? in the second heat, he made three okay, I'm gonna make unbelievable laydowns. Uh, Spread the hands about there, freeze down the poles. You can beat the <laughs> Kapow. <laughs> he's still got a zero. And as Daniel Legrand has re-raised this to 20K and Safina. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> 60 uh, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Hang on a minute. Uh, I do not have aces, so you're going to have to take it. Obviously, it wasn't enough then. Huh? And Obviously Giovanni Safina, four <laughs> points last time out. He's, uh, wow, nice he man. plays his, I got you his good pool, cards so strong, but he's, garbage, he's pretty right? fearless, isn't he? Never. Oh, helps me got ice cream. Two eights? No, two Yeah. Two eights? Everyone has two eights. Two eights has not been lucky here. Now, they're all talking about checking hands on the brakes and that sort of thing. Oh. You're the kind of guy, you, you don't care. Anyone asks you what you have, you just tell them oh. after the hand. Yeah. Oh. That's because I balance so much, I never do the same thing all the time, so no one can get a tell on me. Oh. Oh. Raised to 6,000. People expected no, Daniel to come time. out of the trap slow. He hasn't. He's come out of the traps fast. Cool. Three players. <laughs> um, three ways here. You didn't get up this early for fold. I wish I had. He's all got the same fold. <laughs> we want to get up. Benjamin, who scored a third place, he's in the big blind in first time out, and this is interesting. Check. Check. That's 12,000. That's about the last money Daniel's going to be putting in this pot, isn't it? They're both going to just flat court, cool, so. Cool. If an ace come, he could probably, he could probably take it on the turn, but. Is calling always the best play here for uh, Benjamin? I think with this type of dry flop, I don't think he gets called. Raise. Uh, if he re raises with the worst hand, but he has done. Maybe he just probably just wants to take the pot I'm down now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Benjamin had the opportunity to play with Safina in match number two. He's and dumping cool. you off in our He profit. might. Uh, I think he's raised it uh, mainly because Safina's in the hand. Yeah, and he's probably got a little edge on him. Are you going to go for a cheap showdown now or yeah, keep pumping? Think? I'm pretty sure he'll check now. That's because Timoshenko got clubs live here for Giovanni. <coughs> and then there was Tony G. Any more betting here? So, I mean, Safina. I see uh, Safina maybe betting a little 25 stop bet here. Just sort of a dunk lead. Right? Yeah. I no. didn't get the sweat on the other. calling, and that's about it. That's 47,000. 47,000 is a big bet, though. This is hard for Benjamin to call. This is a good bet by Safina. I'm not sure if he knows it is, but. Cool. Uh, look, yeah, see, he's at the fold. He's using his image, isn't he? Mm. I think <laughs> it was just a random <laughs> bet. <laughs> well, he's taking it down. And, uh, we'll be the chip leader. Two pots, two for the qualifier. And he is going to he is gonna put this oh. some pain out, isn't he? Right now, it looks like Daniel's been trying to come out of the traps oh. fast. And everyone else... Oh. Just sort of playing their cards. Raise to 6, I mean, what do you think his plan is? Fold. You Fold. Maybe Depends. Depends on the strength using of his hands. first hundred thousand to gamble a little yeah. bit, and then if he loses that, uh, tighten up. Yeah, maybe. Right. And a four. Heads up. I don't really like that because don't do it after again, the first 21 of hands, uh -huh. it's, it's not 150 big blind deep Check. anymore. It's 75 big blind deep. So. Check. All these chips are precious. Well, Helmuth versus Negrano has got a lot of needle to it. it That's 11, you almost 000. think there's a lot of spite in every pot. 
asked about anything. Hang on. Oh. You can tell how the ones to get and you are just calling a raise out of the big line with 8 6 off. So huh? How did he know? He just feels doesn't. like he's got something to prove today, I think. Right, so, what's the best way to take advantage of that? Well, by, by raising his blind a lot and making him pull with 8 6 off. <laughs> Looking a little tight on that table. Pretty crowded when there's still eight players in. What do you think of the way that Vanessa Six played in the first match? I mean, uh, she, she played that pot against JC pretty good, where she he three barrel bluffed her, didn't she? I think she played that pot well oh. every street apart from oh. the river, where I thought she should have definitely shoved for his extra 70k. I think she should have snapped off Timoshenko when she had a screen a bit faster. But apart from that, I liked her play over there. And if Roland re-raises re here, he has. This is, what, pretty much just an opinion that he's recognized Daniel's playing fast? Good position on Daniel. Seems like it's a bit of a three-betty table already. Four. Good Thanks. You know I was never folding, right? Like, I can't fold anything there. Put you on, like, queen ten. Calling this out of position, I mean, you, you can do this with the sevens, or you can do this with a lot of hands. Check. Just, just about the right price to pull no. out position with the seven to the three right there. Uh, Roland is already in a spot he doesn't love to be. Roland should know that if he lets this flop, he's going to win a lot of the time. I checked already. I know. What are you looking at then? <laughs> Trying to see if you're giving up any vibes. <laughs> the granny has got to have like. It's twenty-two thousand. Four flop to flush, which is always so unlikely. Like he has continued, but <coughs> I still think a blank turn. I want to see Roland back because it's pretty obvious the ground is wow. <laughs> oh man, that looks like a blank turn, doesn't it? Yeah. But now it's going to get interesting. It's thirty-six thousand. The ground is just hoping that will pass something right now. If he could see Roland's cards, he would have checked that all day, but he just hopes oh. Roland's got a club or an ace and he's just gonna have to call to make a big call. You had ball. nothing, you were bluffing. Did you have queen I 10? I can see if you're, you're part of the glass. Who's there, let's go. Oh, you're so good. He's the best poker player in the world. See that? You didn't know I had three sevens, did you, Phil? He did. <laughs> David Benjamin. He's so good. Benjamin called that hand? Do you know I have the seven clubs, too? Or did you see it? Didn't see it. You knew it? I think so. Uh, pretty good read by David Benjamin. Three sevens? You think he had? That's what David thinks I had. You don't think that's true? Daniel Legrandu there. The bagel the first time out. Now I know what you had. Don't count him. He looks really upright tonight, doesn't he? Does that. 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 Absolutely you can. I read the rules. There's, you can't You're have any... Me you can have someone post on the rail to tell you what somebody had. Yeah. Ladies for the Italian. Could a guy be more ignored than Giovanni Eddie. right now? You, you, you can Treating him like the odd man out. But he came through thousands results. online well, well, just to get to the M Resort. The then won the like qualifier. A, uh, I'm not I don't think he's here to make up the numbers in his mind. It seems like it seems like it. The wolf calling and not looking at Giovanni either. Yeah, it's better. Or get a... I said it was better. It's like Hold. Phil Mickelson, you know, using the, the, the wedge or whatever. I think he was it's he's within the on rules. Pair. He's allowed to use the wedge. I don't know why they made it. Yeah. Yeah. The blinds got out of the it. way. It's kind of Hold. like sunglasses. It's not really fair, but as it's allowed, then, you know, people do it. <laughs> Best oh, sunglasses. You have to be a part of cool. every conversation. Well, I am part of the conversation because I was in the hand. Okay. The day will come and we'll have a show with no sunglasses. It will come. But, but Daniel, that, that's it's weird wow. how this happens early on. Everyone what? gets a big hand, but sure anyhow, this hand. happened. Check. I don't three mind levels in, all hand. three players would have been all in. Check. Check. We have a big disadvantage if we don't. Wow. Strong, huh? That's 25,000. <laughs> it makes sense. Maybe I want to see Sabina flat pull here and then when Russo checks the river, I want to see a bet if, if it's like a, a non spade low card. I have three sevens. I told she, you. She is You're likely right. to three check call the river, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Unless it's in line. What did he have? Oh, he didn't have. He had about what I thought he had. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an even tougher <laughs> river. <for her. laughs> 
Well, she's going to check it anyway, <laughs> unless she wants to put out like a really <laughs> small stop bet, but I'm pretty sure she's just going to check. Yeah, I felt like, it felt to me like garbage the whole way. Not today, fire anyway. <laughs> That's 25,000. She's made, yeah, a little stop at 25k and he's gonna snap it off. We could even raise there, to be honest. Because I suppose it's versus Russo. We have kings full of nines. But he's only losing to quads, so. We have kings full of nines. And the online qualifier is captaining this table. Hi, Sam. Ma in realtà io giocherò il mio poker normale. I will play my usual game, aggressive, bluffing whenever possible, and I believe I will be underestimated, which works in my favor, because I know the way they play, but they don't know me. I've learned that at poker, nothing is impossible. And this is not just a saying, but truth. One thing is to think it, quite another to do it. But if I'm here, it's because I believe in my chances. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come to Las Vegas. So I must believe that winning is the only objective of poker, and I'm going for it. Then we'll just have to see how the heat will turn out. We're okay, so at showdown, everyone shows. I don't want to show my hands, to be honest. Yeah. Huh? Fold. You have to tell him. Tell him what? In Italian. Fold. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's going to show their hand at the end. Tell him that, so he knows. <laughs> you tell him, Phil. You speak Italian. <laughs> Dang, that might take a little while. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Every time the hand you have a as well. Raised to 6,000. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. Everybody. Basically, fair? they're talking about, they want to make it fair for everyone, Luke. Yeah. Because uh, some people are going on the breaks and checking hands, but that's the beauty hey, of the Premier League. Showdown, uh, showdown Who do you think is going to suffer from that the most? <coughs> this is a showdown, another showdown. Who plays too much one out. way? Like yeah, probably if, the if person who plays the here. most straightforward. Oh, yeah, he has to show. And I have to show too. Yeah, of course. Fold. Fold. They'll all suffer from it, really. I don't think it's the smartest idea. Sure Roland's raised out. this one as well, and called by Helmuth, and uh, we're they were having a little. It's easier, you know. A little taunting before edge, it started. Helmuth said he was going to come over the top of Roland three, four times. Uh oh. Roland should lose a lot of chips here. Yeah. Please stop saying I have garbage. You had garbage. Remember when I said he's going to have trouble getting away from his hand? About equal value to that. No, I don't. I think Phil's going to raise on this one. One card was higher, one card was lower. That's Neither was an ace. Because he just doesn't seem like that <laughs> one card was way lower. stats right now. <laughs> like, he could have made a wheel. So he's just going to pull, but King he's still going to lose a lot of chips rather than this hand unless he gets lucky. And, I mean... Queen of Spades would be an interesting card. Check it. The one where I have three seven. Oh, no, that hand. If I helmet's going to let him off the hook. If I was in this pot, I would have tried to make this pot a lot bigger with the King, Queen of Diamonds. Me? Check. Yeah. King, Queen. He had Ace, King. And David, you get lost up half the pot. The one you folded on the king seven. And at the end of the day, Roland's going to feel pretty good that he didn't lose more chips. He had two kings and nines. That's so fun. He had king ten. He had king ten. What did he have? What did Roland have? King tray. Tray. Who won? Phil won with king four. Better kicker. Real players play kickers, buddy. He's probably just thinking to this head. Yeah. Ronnie said, "Why did I play the king three? Phil Helmuth starting off good. He started off good in his first match as well. He has a tendency to unravel. Maybe not today. There's plenty more action to come from Premier League Poker from the M Casino in Las Vegas. Welcome back to season four of Premier League Poker from the M Resort in Las Vegas. Around the table right now, David Benjamin, Daniel Negreanu, Phil Helmuth, and Vanessa Russo all in action. Let's get back to your commentators, Luke Full Flush Schwartz and Jesse May. So Giovanni Safina starting out really fast, up to 450 already. Nobody's even close to him. He's up to 450, really? Yeah. Four. Four. 
and a couple limps. There was this sort of thing going on where in your match, every time somebody limped, you have Genny raised. And uh, I guess that's how that, that big pot started. Like Very standard to raise the limps. If you fold now, it looks really weird. I promise I won't fold. Limping's weak play unless you're looking to limp raise with a huge hand. No, I don't really limp hardly at all. Well, there's been two limps here, and I guess Helmut considering the raise, but the dynamic's already starting, isn't it? When everyone knows oh, that the limps are being raised, so they're going to start start no limping way. to trap. This is stupid. I have to do it. Yeah. I have to make it 20. Cool. This is Still interesting. Well, every, everyone's got a little bit. <laughs> Someone's going to go broke here. You can't play eight, an eight-wave pot and not go broke. <laughs> can't. I mean, I just can't. I mean, is that a nitty fold by Vanessa? I know it's not much of a hand, but she's on the button okay, to six I'll limps. Nine four diamonds. I thought Yevgeny was the one who would uh, pop it up every time they limp. Young guys okay. Okay. Maybe if she was to play the hand, I'd prefer a raise, to be honest. Five nine Ooh. queen, two spades, please. Check. Who's hit it? Check. Timoshenko. Check. Oh, and a set. This is all in. Timoshenko's out. Oh, DeWolf's got the set, and yeah. Timoshenko's got top two pair. He got off this kind of hand in the he last match. He won't get off it now. He can't. That's 13,000. Because uh, there's too many draws Four. up. He has to raise Four. this flop, otherwise it's bad. He has He has to raise. I mean, when you have a seven-way pot, are you are you much more wary of I getting mean, cold, cooler? I obviously cooled? worried about pocket sixes, but that is the only Two hand. Oh, wow. it's and it's just cool. I mean, he, overall, he wants to see a brick on the turn, yeah. and then he's going to get it in. Yeah. I right. Think. He's losing to one hand here. I still, I think this, he should have raised. So, but it is a limp pot, so he's, he is probably thinking anyone who wants to be all in on this spot is going to have a set of sixes. But he should be thinking, I need to get money out. At least I didn't use signals. Stuff. I could have been doing that the whole time, and you guys wouldn't have known. King turn. <laughs> Anyways, it's got to go in now. It just yeah. has to go in. I want it to go in because I've got a 10k side bet with Tomashenko and Point. So, uh, I'm not here to judge whether he has a little that, golf That comes from the man I've never beaten for $12. No I mean, chance. Is he considering chance. checking this? He no, wouldn't. He wouldn't. Chance. Especially not with Giovanni in the pot. Well, that's why I'd like to bet it. <laughs> Definitely going to bet. And no, I want to yeah. see 40k at least. No one ever accused you of being a gambler. <laughs> he just takes the nuts. <laughs> Wow, they're having a big conversation on the side of Roland, and he's just sitting here. He doesn't ever think that three queens or three jacks are out there. Of course. He knows he's got the stone nuts, basically. Yeah. That's 45,000. Yeah, that's, that's a good bet. That's a perfect bet. <laughs> And Timoshenko, the only thing he's had an opportunity to do in this Premier League is make good laydowns. There's not many hands you're going to raise in the head. The thing is, if he calls now, there's 150 in the middle. If, he has a flush, if some weird card comes on the river, he's just going to be in an awful spot based on the bet. So that's why he's he really should he should raise now. And and Safina, I mean, if Safina's in there with the spades, right? He has to put he has to raise it, right? He has to raise now, yeah. I mean, look, he's just going to call again. Yeah. He's insane. He's um. I mean, he's going to get stacked on oh. any card lower than a seven that's not a spade. <coughs> wow, well, see, it's so sick. Wow, that saved him. And I mean, Timoshenko has found a way not to go broke. Now he's going to be kicking himself because he knows this, the flush draw has come and Roland could have got there. Is it time So for he doesn't know that he actually made such a good play on the turn, <coughs> but he's, he's in his brain thinking, oh, why didn't I raise that turn? Oh, he's checked. This Roland's is checked. Roland's checked. That's an awful check. Timoshenko is never going to bet here. I don't know what he's thinking about. He should, he's over the moon that Roland's checked here. He should be checking back instantly. Why does if he, if he bets, he's trying to push Roland off a set of sixes. <coughs> but I don't think Timoshenko is doing that. <coughs> this is never a value bet. <laughs> But this is just too sick that Timoshenko didn't get knocked out the turn or the I mean, block. It's almost like that's what he's oh, thinking. Wait, I mean, how precise would that be? Eh? He's, that's what he's doing. <laughs> that is what he's doing. What? You gotta give him. You gotta give him credit right, for if this. If any other player did uh, would did this, I would think they were a donk. But I think he knows what he's doing. And it's oh my god. 
But I want Roland to call because got it, got it. Roland it. should got know it, that Timoshenko it. would not call <laughs> 50k on the turn with a flush draw. Not and yeah. we've never had a set either, so <laughs> six is. is good here so but much. You know, here You're saying that even if Timoshenko yeah, had like the nine ten of spades, he would have passed on the turn? Yeah. See, that's, you, you weren't around when hair was hot. I wasn't around when hair was hot? So we show in the back of the chest, yeah. Yeah. I think you might have the same hand. Oh, that's so sick. It doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't get any better than this. Come on, Timoshenko. I couldn't see any weakness in you. At I just. Oh, he bluffed him? <laughs> You're on my team. Did you think you, you didn't think you were bluffing, right? Because you said you thought you had the same hand. Well, I, that's technically a bluff if I'm trying to get him off a chop. Ugh, such a horrible living. Wow. Roland is sick. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta give him credit. You yeah, gotta give him you know, puffs. He said it as well. He's like, I think you might have had the same hand. <laughs> We've seen a lot of you punks come and go, see? <laughs> see that's you internet punks, we, you, we just wait till you've been around 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Has Roland just been owned? Oh, he, he's been so, so life owned, it's unbelievable. <laughs> You're so good at poker that you have to you expect good? me to check with that hand? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a really strong play. Get him to fold bet and set. And Timoshenko is probably like, not he knows that I want him doing. to, but going to win the okay. heat, I think. He's good. Plays like that. But you know, early yeah. on, yeah. you make all the right plays, it's it doesn't it matter too much. Now. It's like, it's what happens later on when the blinds are huge. It's, it's true. I mean, Timoshenko, all that, he's only got 374,000, but all of a sudden, the wolf down to 150. He raised to 12,000. I don't know, like, why are people looking here? Because it's harder for me to pick him up off the feet. Too often, if you check raise on, you might have a... Cold. Roland Clean came back. in this morning six, seven, talking about six, how he'd had seven, a good 10 hours sleep for the first time since he got to Vegas. He doesn't look like a guy who's had 10 hours sleep right now. Oh, that hurt. <coughs> you said this looks like a three betty kind of table. It is. Negrano three bet Russo with the eights, and she's called it. He's speedy. Now, is check call standard for her here, or is there anything else? She's checked it. He's bet. She always check calls her. And check calls almost all rivers? Probably not ace or a king. Opportunity for Negroni. I see it. I'm just wondering what the hell I should do. <coughs> Completed the flush. I have flush. a feeling I'm in second place. So I'm going to check. Check. Shut down. Eight. Eights? That's good. I have deuces with an ace. Eights and jacks. Too bad. Hey. This is fun. Show every hand. And I'll tell you what, this agreement for everyone to show their cards after the hand is just going yeah. to yeah. cause absolute <laughs> mayhem. No, well, we'll because Helmuth like is going to, at some point, or someone's going to show him a hand and he's going to pop out of his chair. I don't know how to explain what we're doing. Oh, he's I'd, like to lay, I'd like to bet a lot of money. He doesn't speak Spanish. You got to admit, Luke, you got to, that that's the great thing about the Premier League. It takes great players against other great players to have sort of true soul reading. Yeah. Okay. Hold. Hold. And for Timoshenko, who's only got eight points right now. Big Raise boost of confidence. 000. Not that he needs a boost of confidence. He's the biggest money winner on the poker scene in 2009 from tournaments, besides the main event champion. That was, that was a tell. <laughs> Peter's go straight. <laughs> Roland has done everything wrong so far. 
I mean, I don't know if he's done everything wrong. He folded on the river. That's a mistake. Well, he check folded was a mistake. He could have check called all but. Interesting to see if Safina decides to raise here. There is a six to complete a higher straight. Yeah, I really doubt he'll raise. Raise. Twenty-four. He's made it a min raise, but he's e he's either made it a min raise or he stuck the wrong chips in. So far, Safina's making hands, Luke, and he's causing people problems. He is. That's 25,000. Turn it up, Rowan. I have to yeah, sign off. Yeah, yeah. Both. Yeah. Hang on. You got straight. Nice hands. <sighs> okay. That's oh, exactly yeah. how Roland's day fun. is gone. Straight right. fun. It's like playing on the air. You can click and see, right? Early knockback in the wall. You, you can't see the hand history when they fold on the river. Oh, that was bad, but this is better. <laughs>
he's kind of got himself in a weird spot here, Luke. Cause sure. almost like I don't, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> cool but I'm sure uh, Ronan must have more than 70k behind for how much to cool. Check. All in. Cool to get to see it. I fold. Fold. What do we got, gentlemen? Six eight. Oh no. He had deuces. Deuce four. And Roland had tens. Oh, oh no. It was really, really, really bad. My home was really bad. That was some reading ability there. <laughs> Roland, be nice. Oh no. Or don't, whatever. Oh no. Even Tim O'Shenko's <laughs> laughing at Phil. Yes, because you get to see right away. I'm playing better than I thought. <laughs> I think they're playing who's the biggest donkey table. I mean, Roland's folding, folding sets. How was Cordy at 32k with 68 behind on the turn with the bottom pair of kicker? This tournament is so special. This is the Premier League, and classic tournament strategy pales in comparison to the other factors like the egos, the league standings, and of course the chance to wind up Mr. Phil Helmer. Yes, I'm saying that we can go find out. Poor Helmer, he hasn't said one word. And Race is 6,000. He's going to have to regain his mojo. Helmuth is so tilted right now. Four. Oh, four. And has, has Tim Moshenko called <coughs> precisely for that reason, or is this, does this actually play well, the 8-9? Uh, he's just called out the big blind. It doesn't play too bad. I don't really like it. Well, everything's going right for him, though. Don't know how he's going to make any money at this spot, even though he's flopped top two. I think the lead's the best play from him here. Um, he will lead, but it's going to go fold, fold. H Helmuth, sort of in a similar situation against oh. JC Tran, kind of raised the flop, bet the turn, and called the river with ace high. I hope he doesn't do that here. <laughs> oh, dear, he has. Now, what's... This is kind of tough for Timoshenko because Timoshenko doesn't really donk lead with a donk hand. He will donk lead with a good hand. That's what Helmuth doesn't realize. And also, Helmuth's, ge Helmuth's game flow reads is really bad here. He should realize his table image right now is so tilty that no one's <coughs> going to fold to him. Yeah, which makes more sense, I guess. Looks like he's counting on a re-raise. Oh, he's re-raised, yeah. Re See, he knew he didn't want to see a turn there, so I think I like this re raise. Oh, Phil, don't do it, Phil. Don't, don't do it, Phil. Phil, Phil won't do anything. Phil's gone now. I mean, he's made 82k, he's pretty much. I think he's telling Phil, I'll call you all in. If Phil did shove, <laughs> the funny thing is, I think Timoshenko might fold. Wow, you would think so. But obviously, Phil's never going to shove with Ace Jack. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Probably just giggling. Yeah. And, <laughs> and they're just going to all make fun of Phil. 8 9 against Ace High. Top two's working out well for you. Welcome back to Premier League Poker 4. 12 of the world's best players have met in this unique league format for a piece of the one and a half million dollar prize pool. Now let's get back to your commentary team of Luke Schwartz and Jesse May. How <laughs> <laughs> just got to settle down here? Just, just fold yeah, for a round really or two, right? Really just fold for a couple rounds. Yeah, that's great. That's the way you do it. <laughs> <laughs> so he finds a pair of big I fold. suited fold. holdings. I'm not supposed to say what I fold, right? I say it for you. Hold, hold, hold. Fold. Fold. Raise, 6,000. Yeah, like, Negrano's got to be very fold. aware of his image right now. I mean, certainly yeah, Benjamin no. is. Cool. <laughs> one each. Heads up. So, yeah, I would like the uh, three of yeah. there from Benjamin, but... Oh, I agree. Good good it's, good it's one thing we but saw I from I his I first agree. match. He just seems so I comfortable agree. playing post-flop, yeah. even out of position. Yeah. 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 I mean, he just I peels flops off no, all day long. And rarely That's free bets, even in position or out of it. Cool. You've done that before, haven't 
pretending to like taking big chips and then just throwing. Oh, I want to see Daniel Bauer. It's not the, the first time. Maybe ten height. Nine or higher. Yeah, ten. That's a good card to battle. I want to see him bet. Sixteen thousand. <coughs> Strong bet. Yeah. He knows venue means he's got a five Four. here a lot. I thought you were going to fold for sure on the turn. I did. I was trying to steal. Uh, go ahead. I don't have to tell him. I forgot. A spade. Oh, yeah, a Check. spade he can win. No. He should That's have good. bet. See. What do you have, Daniel? Deuces. 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 <laughs> really wouldn't Deuces. wish Daniel would bet that river because uh, he's got a no bet. He's got a five on the turn. Because he would have raised one the flop all the time yeah. with a seven, so one more he's got a five. He really can't call the river with a five there when it comes no, to nine spades on the river. That was stupid, Daniel. Daniel yeah. could have only. Daniel's betting there. He's got a maybe he's got a flush or a seven <laughs> or something. Doesn't look like he's got an air ball. What do you think of the first level stats? Safina's the chip leader. I don't know how well he's played to be there. Timoshenko definitely deserves his stat. Fraser's staying steady, it's to be expected. Russo the same. I think this might just go to the show code, but you mean heads up. Oh. <laughs> Negrano's V chip 52%. I mean, Robinson he cannot TV. keep that up, can he? Even min raising. So he's playing half the hands then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> really bad. 11,000. Oh. 11, Raised to 11,000. Molly went and learn. You watch it in here. Thank you, Daniel. You got it, buddy. Full. Oh. At least Helmut's mm -hmm. quiet down. He oh. realizes the. Yeah. On my sixth sense. Oh, uh, Negroni's got 10 here. Yeah. Oh. And Russo's got 9. This is, a, this is an interesting spot. Now, this isn't an obvious 3-bet spot for Russo, right? It's no, she doesn't really 3-bet much. I doubt she's going to 3-bet here. But she's reaching for chips. Re-raise to 30,000. It's a now small 3-bet. Yeah, but now it's so tough for Negroni because... He knows Russo doesn't 3-bet light, so he wants to shove now. He sees 50k in the middle, but he knows if he knows that he's flipping if he gets called at best. He doesn't really even think Russo's got nines here. He thinks Russo's got ace, king, ace, queen. Yeah, so he's going to fold. Third time oh, stands in the show. Fault. Which were my best hands. Would yeah. you guys have? I get to see. First time have queen. you? First time kings. Gah! I'm so bad. Yep. Gah! Gah! I hit him both crushes. you're so bad? <laughs> oh, my God. oh, he hates life now. Yeah, he's tilted now. Well, he's, no, he's not tilted. He's Barely. Yesterday, yesterday I went raise. Yes. Daniel, yesterday I went raise, call, call, shove, reshove, and David still managed to call all the cheese. With two tens. Two tens. Yeah. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> that was an incredible match. Tony G, 400k with the five. It's one of those spots where they both had the exact perfect hand for me. Although it could have come nine high or eight high. And they still get bluffed. Huh? And, and I can still get bluffed if I call. Most likely. Bold. Yeah, 20. Raised to 20,000. David's limped here in Helmuth with the isolation. And the way it's going with Phil, I wouldn't Bold. be surprised if it was a... Limp and a 20. Bold. If uh, Benjamin flopped a set where Phil flopped top pair. Bold. Well, the way it's been going, Phil doesn't Bold. need to flop top pair to get all his money in. <laughs> but you're right. Ace-Jack has been a horrible hand for him. Benjamin's playing with more chips as if he's going to raise, but I'm pretty sure he's just going to flat call here. If he puts Helmuth on the type of hand he has, should he be he's raised? Just call. He's just going to call. Always, though. <laughs> <laughs> Heads up. He limped into call. He didn't limp into yeah, do yeah, anything yeah. funny. Come on, Phil, get a flop. Losing the other one nice to Queen's vision. Just kind of like pissed me off. I needed to win one with nines. It was like. Yeah, uh, that's a good flop for Helmuth, and yeah. anybody will be chat folding this flop. Yeah. Helmuth's probably about 30k here. That's the right play? Yeah, that's the right play. Really you know that works. Checking would be pretty wrong. No, checking's okay as well. But King 3 2. He's going to take it down so much if he bets. It's hard for Benjamin to... Benjamin's really got to have, like... Because Benjamin doesn't limp with King, Queen and those type of hands. So for Benjamin to have anything at this flop, he would have had to flop to a flush or a set of threes or twos. So that's why if he bets, he's just going to take it down so much. Bet 24,000. What do we got, gentlemen? 
Six of club, six of spade, and a two sixes, an ace of clubs, and a jack. <coughs> so another big bluff from Hellmuth. That was a favorite. I know, but no, it was no, a, that was a bluff. You didn't have any, you didn't Complete have a information, but Hell was going to afford baby. to smile now. At least he won a pot. There he's smiling. Although you. I would have re-raised Rowan on when he was on the button there, maybe. I would, I would have shot. Yeah. I only had one oh. over card. Which is bad. Oh. Yeah, generally you want about better than that. Raise to 10,000. And uh, Negrano picking up where he left off. Now I can oh. mix it up, baby. Oh. Now I can start raising and re raising and going crazy. Oh. I fold. Fold. I said I could. Roland's <laughs> just cold call in position oh, with the tens. I mean, Sadly, he knows how far ahead he is of Daniel's range. Right now. Yeah. Just heads up. Did he raise? No, he just Ooh. called. I might just show up next time I raise with like. Mm. So this is this is sort of about being HBA short stacked and trying to stack up, and trying to re trying to stack off, strong. or his ten's not strong enough. That's a good. That's a oh, Rodan should have raised with the stuff. Definitely. That's a bad reason to play it. I see. I see. No, the granny could win this flop easily. This is so sure. bad if Negroni checks I don't like it. the way that hand came down. Oh. He tried to make a hand. So bad. I don't think he would Why? Have because there's so many... He's got zero Can't showdown. Say, it's a perfect board to bet. Like he's going to get through so much of the time. Good check. And even yeah. if you get called, then you can... Whatever, it's just better... It's just better poker, better math to just bet. So you just think about it when you get called. Just think about that when it happens, but yeah. you're not going to get called. You get called less than half the time. What about this bet? This is bad. Because now Roland can't fold the tens really. Can now he? Roland could, could, can't really fold anything. But cool. it's not a bad bet. It's just it, it's just be, it would have been much better to do on the flop. And I mean, it, how how committed is Negrano now to betting blank rivers? You can't really rep any blank rivers. That's the problem. Uh, he got out of this. He would have preferred Look at a blank this. But now we're just going to check check. Um. What, what was what was Negrano's plan? I mean, what what would he have been trying to rep on the river? Like a, ki a king that he was playing safe? Of <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, that's what I'm saying. It was, a bad, it was bad to take that line. He should have done it on the floor. Show now. No, you don't have to show. Any five yeah, was good. Do. Please don't show Any spade. five was good. <laughs> <laughs> Any five was good? That's good. Should, uh, well, the wolf feels like he misplayed the hand. Negrano. Is any eight good? No. I feel like he sucked out, but he's got the money anyway. You kind of think both players could or should have played that hand differently. Yeah, I think yeah. Roland should have re-raised pre and the Grani should have left the five, flop. I might have <laughs> <laughs> Two out, four up. And, oh. you know, it's kind of a big pot for Daniel there. Last one, he's back up to 250, and DeWolf has just sunk. Fold. Yeah. Fold. Fold. 12. Nine of clubs exposed. Nine of clubs. <coughs> Raised to 12,000. With the 3x. Donald Duck. See? Donald Duck. Fraser's really I hasn't moved the chip sure yet, but that's... I think that's it's okay. Yeah. Well, it's not bad. Uh, he maybe feels that he's not... Uh, Best deep stack play. I think he's better when it's uh, when the blinds are bigger and he's got to do a bit more shoving. Uh, so I don't mind what he's done so far. Also, he had a really rough first two levels in the first match, and maybe he did say to himself, "Look, just just wait and see what happens. Tight image is good, right?" You know, I'm running over the table right now, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wants hand. to get points on, on the board as well, table. so he wants to ladder it a bit. Is is Timo got a three bet here? I mean, well. Could do so. I don't like it the way Phil started talking wow. to him about his hand and yeah, stuff. Like, this Bold. is Yevgeny. I think he th he might have and Queen Bold. Ten. There's a decent chance he has Queen Ten. Yevgeny's playing well, but no, no, no more. Sure. Should really help him up once he's now, uh, now, now, now he's mixing. He's setting you up. He's playing the seed. Um, and he's gonna pull, and then he's gonna trap you for all your chips. I'm completely eat some of that. Completely comfortable. Oh, poor Phil. Oh, yeah, that doesn't happen very often. Well, here we go. 
And bust him up. Even this though Negrano is a guy who plays situation first and cards last, Wait, this is a pretty good start. <laughs> you were on the I, two I, thought, I thought I had him. I wasn't quite sure, but when he moved oh. down the river, then I knew. Just the you way you look. put him on Jack Tide. Jack Tide will still Jack High by the river. Cool. Yeah, but I mean, but I mean. You should have been on the Tide. call somebody, time. yeah, when you call somebody oh, twice. I mean, he's played very time, straightforward just... pre-flop so far, this heat, Luke. He's just, he's re-raised when he's had a hand and just like called him yeah. medium strength hands. I wish he would have had Jack Tide. I would have, I would have called him this, like really quickly. <laughs> That's what he I did. raised to 42,000. Now, this is a big spot for Fraser. Is Negrano, a, a, is Negrano done? Fraser's re-raised with the aces. Oh. <sighs> I make thin calls. It hasn't been working out too well in 09, but... <laughs> well, yeah, it's all in. I mean, because Negrano's opened so many pots and he knows it, he doesn't think Fraser's... He's the only th reason why Negrano could get away from this because Fraser has played super tight. But still, he's got a push. He's got a short stack. What's his stack? 226. He's going to be all in. He's he's just going to be all in, and that's all there is to it. And the problem for Negrana right now, if he does push, even if he's racing, the chance to get the bagel is horrible for him. He's already got zero Forehand. points. Okay, I can wow. Wow. What a that, great that's, that's, good. that's good. That's good. That's good. That's why he's a world class player. There's one you'll be asking about on the break, Daniel. Yeah. That was a big one. And for Negrano, he doesn't huh? want a bagel. He's he raised really his cool. game. Huh? Ace the king. other one, Ace King. Just when you think, just when you worked for 10 years to get rid of your tilt and it disappears for a couple of years, next thing you know, you're tilting again, Benjamin. You know what I'm saying? Benjamin. It's probably because poker's harder. That's why you tilt more now. <laughs> it's true, because people are so much better now that. Like oh. back in the day, everyone sucked pretty much. But now these kids, they're all good. Oh. So it's harder. Well, to be limp in. He's huh? making a habit of it. Whatever. <laughs> you wonder sooner or later if he's going to have the aces or the kings here. Also, well, like, most of the kids don't have a lot of bracelets. Oh, yeah, I said before I didn't think he would be uh, limping oh. in with king, queen, and oh. flat pounds, oh. But he has now. I don't really the, like it. Oh. That wasn't the plan. To build a pot with a big hand like King Queen Sue. Like, the like, like, limping hands are like low yeah, pocket six months. Months. That's, That's months. about all you <laughs> call. So you if you can beat the game for a year, you're Unless like a super track. Unless you're looking to lip raise. Unless you're looking to lip raise. No doubt that's a very talented. That's pretty exploitable if that's all you limp with, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but... Nice flop for the King Queen of Spades. Not bad for the other two hands either. Yeah, everyone's got a monster here. Um, Safina's hope he realizes he's got a double gut shot. Oh. Um, he didn't. He didn't realize he folded. Yeah, I, th I thought he was going to miss that. It's a really nice hand having a double gut oh. shot there. Because the eight is a real trappy have. card, isn't it? You know what I have? Yeah. Yeah. Heads up. You always know what I have. I'm not sure what I have. <laughs> <laughs> the most interesting. What's Negrano's... Oh. What's his play? Check. It's gonna have to fold. Then you mean it almost never checks here, I don't think. That 14,000. A little old bet. And uh, is Daniel thinking like you that it's not usually a flush here. I mean, that because of the limp. That it yeah, he'll be thinking that definitely. But at the same time, uh, his he's not really beating anything. Got that straight draw. I mean, he's if got it a is a straight set. draw and a little flush draw, but he knows oh. it's just no good. Yeah. Really, I had a big hand on the flop. I would have put it in on the flop. <laughs> yeah, pen a flush draw. At six four. Oh, yeah, with a flush draw. Thanks. Yeah, nice hand. I had 6-4 with a 4 spade. Wasn't a good turn card. Played two levels, Luke, and Tim Oshenko has now crept on the lead, but as you keep saying, there's just so little in it, chip-wise. Lines up to 3 and 6,000. We're still eight-handed. And Giovanni Safina you don't get on, is not yet back from his break, so tournament director break. will fold his cards. Fold. Fold. There is a two-man walking rule in play. 
That's what we're going up to. You're allowed to leave the table. Go take a nap. Some, He's got plenty of tips. You do have to fold your blinds. Imagine if he just never came back. We'll finish sixth or fifth. Or fourth, maybe. A lot of discussion been going on about the no players checking each other's hand. The fact of the matter is, 15? everyone yeah. has to adjust. Quick, quick. First hand. No, you're okay. You missed the first hand. Oh, did. They took it in already. Raises just be a little bit bigger now, and the average stack, 50 big blinds. So there's play, but also a good chance to lose someone. Check. <laughs> See what Benjamin's intentions are here if Timoshenko leads. And it, it continues. And he, he always fires the C bet, doesn't he, the continuation bet? 19,000. You always have the feeling that Benjamin Four. is an unbelievable reader. He just just seems to have such a good Thank sense you. for where he's at. Check. And if it comes low, Fair's the board. What's Benjamin going to do? Check. Is it check call? Is it check fold? Check. Let's take the money. <clears throat> what do you have, Luke? <laughs> he wins pots that other players wouldn't. You could say he's been nearly this one I have flawless no idea. thus far in the Premier League. <laughs> That's the second. Oh. Yeah. The second is. I only have a rose of aces. Huh? I only have a rose of aces. Yeah. Well, I found kings Crazy get beat too easy. Yeah. Problem, he's running out of chips. I've seen him mix it up pretty chips good. Chips mean time right pretty now. Pretty good, buddy. Fold. 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 Don't you remember when you four bet me at the series? <laughs> Fold. No, Guys like Timoshenko, queen. well aware well, five, six, eight queen. they can put pressure on the ground or stack. I'm sorry? I two bet four. he raised, What's I re-raised, and he four. moved in with no. me. Uh, I don't have either one. Jack offsuit. Cool. No deuces, no foot. It comes deuce, deuce, four. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Uh, probably the best turn, chance of Maragana yeah, being able to win this with the worst hand is Timoshenko calling pretty flop. You got a shot at it. Oh, this is disastrous. That's funny. Like, don't make yourself look bad like that. Well, what's on Six television? 6,000. He showed the queen jack. Daniel's best spot here is to try and hope for a split. He might not even get to the river. Is that a weird bet? Uh-oh. And I guess, Luke, he's raising his the bet pocket. very small here because yeah, the ground feels like These guys are good he today. can get information quite cheap. You always know when you don't have it. What much did he do? 18,000. Okay, I don't have it, but I'm not folding just yet. 18 total? Yes. I don't have it. You don't have it twice? I got something. I just don't have it. That's <laughs> deuce, deuce, four. Really I told him I didn't have <laughs> no deuce, deuce, four, nothing there. Yeah. Fun little pot. Negrano has been singing Timoshenko's praises. Check. Gladly. With Check. pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> the spade or the big card. Those are Negrano's best cards, and it's a split now. Mm. Is it going to go check, check? Funny one, isn't it? So Timoshenko thinking, would he have called me on the flop with a pair? Jacks, queens, that sort of hand. Does he ever have me beat here? What are you doing over there, all that thinking? Jeez. He's genuinely not really sure. Did you just make a 10 or something weird? How much is that? 39,000. I would have been so much happier if the river was a spade. Like, immensely. 39? Nice, really put him under pressure here. Oh. 
Oh, a spade would have been so much more fun than this card. I wonder what he thinks it is. Could have been ace-10 or ace-4 for sure. <coughs> Could it have been ace-jack, ace-queen, ace-king? Could it be a deuce? He's probably calling the split. And it must have ace-eight of spades. Cool. Slow down. Ace-9? Ace-9? It's a good pot, isn't it? Timo Shenko <laughs> put Daniel with a tough decision <laughs> on the end. They'll both be Spade happy. would have been the one. The Ten I'll take, though, away. considering you had me crushed. <laughs> nine of spades in the river. Oh, fun. On the I'm thinking now you have to wait till the break. The break's only an hour. I think four to five. You didn't have a pair then. That hand saw I couldn't get on. Because I had you beat them. I had a pair. So. I had a pair too. Yeah, yeah I had two seven. Why, that's, that's, why them, uh, that's why I made them. How are you going to know because of what I had on here? Well, I'll know that neither of you had a pair. He definitely puts people under pressure, Timoshenko, and bets in spots where most people wouldn't. I had the queen ten as well. Hold. Hold. Which was looking good against you guys, huh? Raised to 16,000. Oh. She got lodged in this, right? Just to get a new one. Can someone dog me up? Is it so kind? Doing that shit. First one up. You want to come? Yeah. We could play. Safina's been playing these kind of cards, and he's the kind of guy when he's got chips, he likes to play flops and no problem. I think right? most people play the ten line of diamonds. Uh, <laughs> the big blind, the big blind, make up the big blind, pretty standard. Yeah, he's got a big stack as well. He can take a couple of shots. Wow, look at this. This is time to put pain on Fraser. He's probably got to bet this flop. 992 flops, perfect flop from his hand. 17,000. Safina raises here, which I think he probably will. Fraser's in a tough spot. And I even think Fraser might just... Might Peel off a card. No, he might even... Depending on how big the raise is, he might even re-raise all in. But he's just called, so... I guess Fraser's going to check behind every turn here. Pretty easy check on the turn for Fraser right now. Unless Safina leads. Actually, he's been doing some kind of stuff like that in the qualifier, Safina. Just launching into the turn. Yeah. It's nice, right? Yeah, it works good. At 17, it's a small bet. I would have liked the bigger bet if he was going to lead in. Now, is it time for Fraser? Fraser's going to yeah. probably... <laughs> I don't think he's going to get away from it just here for 17k. I don't think he's going to raise. Fraser's stacked 281. Uh, he could raise here maybe to 40k and then we'll just check behind the river. I mean, if he thinks like Safina's making some kind of defensive bet with another pocket <laughs> pair, is, is it worth a raise here to try and take him off some hands? I don't think he thinks Safina's got a pocket bet. I think he thinks Safina's just... Fluffy no got a nine. Yeah, great fold. Took a deep breath past the hand, and everyone wants to know what Safina has, but he's not telling him yet. He hates my team. Huh? Yes, Jason. He's actually played quite well, Fraser. <laughs> he doesn't six. feel like it, but he's done fine. Better. Better. Huh? Yeah, he yeah, definitely did well on that hand. You're an enemy. I don't blame you. I took him first. I got Phil, oh. David. Players talking about Me and their you. fantasy league for <laughs> the Premier League. Roland and DeGrano. Race, 18,000. DeGrano picked, picked Tony G, and then he picked you. Can someone, like, <laughs> yeah. do something? You were as... And he feels playing every pot. And with this starting to open up a little bit. Like, until something bad happens, right now we're going to be seeing the best of Phil. Yeah, probably. He seems to be off tilt. I don't mind giving you a little bit. flop a king here. You can spot the room. Hands up. To play three streets of value. I thought it was a queen eight against you. This is what they see. Queen, obviously. Three streets of value. This has potential for him Check. hitting the wall here. Check. It's a pretty good trap behind yeah. from okay. Phil with uh, probably about a yeah, 7 6 3 flop. Problems, you know. 
think like he'll just fold out all jack tens and all that and take down the pot there. Safina will obviously bet now with his flush draw. How will fold? Okay. Oh. 11,000. So you like this line that Ellis has taken? Not, uh, I don't really know what he's doing here with this little bet. But it's a value bet, but he doesn't know it at the moment. Yeah. They say. King would be a most interesting card here. I think I was there. How are you, my friend? Check. When are you leaving? Oh, look at his face! <laughs> oh, man. Right now, it kind of hurts to be held with. Didn't cost him that much, though, did it? Oh, no, you had me the whole way. Yeah, you had flusher on the flop. Can you move over a little bit? You think you're. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. No, no, I no, guess if I would have been, I guess if I would have been Phil okay. Locke, it would have come King King, right? Yeah. Well, if I would have been Phil Locke, it would have come King King, right? And I would have punished him. Phil's fine. He's got two hundred and seventy thousand or so, and he's got two kings. And Phil told me he hasn't even been running really good. And this yet. could easily look like a steam raise, right? Would you yeah, look at it like not. that? How can he say that? Depends what I was holding, but yeah, he's gonna get some action. There's tens and there's eights, there's, there's a load of hands on the table. I mean, if you're Fraser here, you're re-raising, right? I mean, oh, I think he's gonna just call. But I think uh, Benjamin's gonna captain her broke. No, Fraser did re-raise eights. Now, Benjamin had a... For 40,000, he made a really good call with tens in... Uh, the last match, when Tony G had two fives, and he makes a good lay down here. <laughs> Fraser went broke with the Kings against Phil Lax eight in his first match. It's reversed right here. It's gonna be pretty sick. I think Helmut's just gonna show. Is, is shoving the right player? It's a, it's a big shove. Uh, so Fraser's only got 240, so. Yeah. I think it's the right play. Just tr try and rep Ace King with the shove. And Fraser can call with all powers. That's what he's thinking. I don't know. I just kind of feel like Helmut's got a much better chance of of getting called if he does a really quick shove. But that's over now. He's gonna get called anyway, maybe. Why? If it's somebody else. Oh, you just look so strong this time. Wow, he's really so going Hollywood <laughs> now, isn't he? Come he's on. He's on one here, isn't he? I, don't you think if he does anything now except for call, it looks really fishy? Um, no, I still think he should shove. I think he's done all this. this I think if all this Hollywood's going to work somehow. Boy, he's this. This is really ham time now. I mean, Helmuth is he has gone into one. I won't like I don't like the any other re raise in the shelf here, I don't think. Raise it. Re raise. See this is the worst. Now Fraser's not gonna I don't think Seven. I think Fraser's definitely gonna fold now. Gonna min, he just mid clicked him back. It looks really fishy now, doesn't it? No, it looks it? really yeah, really, really strong now. This is the strongest uh, possible. Oh, 70k to four. So he did a bit better, but... It's a tough spot for Fraser now, isn't it? I mean, he's really thinking about it. Okay. He's made one good fold already. Let's see if he can make two. And he knows about this... this format, this structure. I mean, right now, with eights, no, he, eight he's never... Like he's never better than a race. There's, yeah. There's not course. a lot of reasons for him to take a race on, are there? Hold. Yeah, I mean, obviously it looks like, yeah, it's a fold. Yeah. Wow, and Helmuth got nothing, no, like nothing Jack. extra Jack. out of no, it. Not Jack. David, what yeah, you I mean, his best bet was David to shove all in once he does the re-raise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it just looks a little you bit too Kings strong, too, David? I think. Yeah. No, I have him on Jack. I thought so. Yeah, I had at least I mean, Kings. It's weird, that uh, pot could have played completely least, different if uh, least king. Kings, Fraser had just called Helmut's I, I raises. Kings races I, mean, with two tons, I, was I had Kings, I was legitimately worried that maybe he had aces. But I decided he was so Wow, impressed. I was kind of surprised that Helmut <laughs> played it like Not that. Not today, but the Ian that I've seen comes over the top cool. like crazy amount. 
You shouldn't say that. And I, I was in the box the other day too, Daniel, so I got to see what was going on then too. Yeah. I've got box information. <laughs> I think Rock Roland DeWolf said before, he said, is there anyone in the M Casino that doesn't know what the hell that that kicks? I was not holding out to Queen. I had Ace, King, and 10, my two best hands, and turn the whole thing, and I folded it over. Daniel's right about that. Yeah, Daniel's right about that. This feat has all been playing. about folding so far, hasn't it? No, Any I good pre-flop pass? The best hand I've had was 10s I folded. Yeah. Yeah. I've had 10s and 8s kings, the only hands I've had in the two days, and I've folded both before the flop. I couldn't, I couldn't see a flop. Check it. Check. Helmet in on the big blind. He and blind. I have a history, too, so. It was just a limp here from Timo. Sorry, no, Fraser limped and Timo followed. I had 8,000. Timo peel one off there. Four. Four. Peel one off just to see what Fraser does. He's going to like that turn as well. That's 21,000. If I had a nine here, I'd bet just Four. to uh, not give any free cards. Pretty obvious thing. Your opponent doesn't have a turn. Wouldn't be worried about his kicker. It looks more like Fraser's got some kind of heart draw or something, doesn't it? <coughs> well, this is just a nightmare now for Fraser, because if he was good on the turn, he's still good on the river. Mm -hmm. That even beats hands like sevens and <laughs> eights now. That's 28,000. He's gone for a blocking <coughs> kind of bet? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, probably he doesn't want to have to call a huge bet. If to my bets with like 80,000 with us or 60,000 with us a nine and he feels just to call. It's also the kind of bet where if Timo raises now, I'm not saying he will, but if he does, Fraser's going to start thinking, oh, he's induced a bluff and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird pop. I don't think Timoshenko would raise because... What does he hope to get paid off by? Yeah, I mean, Ace Hucks. Obviously, Fraser doesn't have an overpair. Such and that would be the only thing he could ever call a re-raise with. If he did re-raise, there wasn't oh. a turn. Have a nice. Face no good. Nine's four. And Fraser will actually end up, well, he'll be feeling good about the river anyways. Probably lost a little bit less. God, he's, he's a monster though, Timoshenko. Welcome back to Premier League Poker 4 here at the M Resort in Las Vegas. We've still got a full table of eight at this one. Who's going to crack first and exit with zero points? Let's get back to the game. Even though he's the points leader right now, DeWolf, he's played two matches already. Yeah. So I think you want to be having like oh, 10 points after two games to really be in any comfort zone at least 10 points. Yeah, there's a feeling right now that maybe 17 will get you in the top eight and 25 will get you in the top four. That's it's a sliding scale, obviously, depending on what happens. And the idea is that Phil Locke is already in the top four, guaranteed. Yeah, of course he is. He's got two firsts. What are you playing, Daniel? Is this about 200? Cool, two kings. an oh, obvious <laughs> re-raise spot? 200? About 190. Yeah, it is. He must be suited over there. The ground has been openly light. <laughs> he's just cool. cool. Just, your jacks is good here so much. Hand. He's just only, he's only scared that he might be behind the ground. He knows he's had a subpoena all day long. He's called. It's going to bring everybody he's just in. Cold. I think that's a little bit this. too this tight. Timoshenko's got that squeeze look on his face. <laughs> he couldn't even call? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like re-raise and then just fold. What if he goes 12 Four more? Four players. <laughs> he gets to he just wins it. 12 more, I'd be so sick. A weirdo, huh? So we're four ways flopping. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get stacked, isn't he? Did I didn't hear you at all? Huh? Check. Any connection? No. That's 20,000. Or 
should you not be getting stacked here with two jacks? Yeah. Since he slow paid at three, it's not the best flop for two jacks. There's a lot of set possibilities and two pair possibilities out there. But then again, there's a draw heavy board. People have got to stick it in with draws here a lot. And and for Fraser, he's got just two. Yeah. Every reason to fast play this, right? Because yeah, definitely for Fraser. He's short stacked. There's going to be some bad cards on the turn. A lot, half the deck's bad. Raise to fifty thousand. Um, he's going to raise, and how much going to be able to stack off with? Oh boy, this is, could be very sick for me. Re-raise. Yeah, you know, Helmuth had a decision to re-raise. He didn't take it. Is he going to regret it? He's still got equity. Oh, uh, he's got really tilted. I mean, he's going to be tilted to wow. see what he's got. Wow, so sweet for me. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Hold him. We don't need a count. Did you pull that in properly? Yeah, it's more important. It's more than that. Did you think he's ahead here? Did you guys see? Mainly because of the size of Fraser's stack. 1550. Oh, the browser. Oh, yes. Fraser hasn't cooled yet, but obviously he's going to cool. You, by the way, you can call, I'll be happy. You can fold, I'll be happy. If you suck out, I won't say anything, I'll be happy. If I suck out, I won't say anything, I'll be happy. Hell, the hits he's in such a good spot. He's going to see he's in such a bad spot in a second. It's a huge blow up. We're, we're somewhere between one and two minutes away from the blow up. Yeah. <laughs> Put on your seatbelt. He actually thinks he's got the best hand right now, doesn't he? All in. Oh my wow. god, he's got the nuts. It's like shock. Wow, he studied that long, huh? Oh no. What do you think I had? I wasn't sure. I didn't think you had a big pair. But that's right. Yeah, and I can see why Fraser doesn't think he, I mean, he just called the raise pre flop, so that's not very much like Palma. So that's why it was kind of a hard call. Well, it wasn't a hard call, but you have to give it some thought. And now it's two outs. So it's pretty much all over. A double up for Fraser. Oh, bad spot for Helmuth. There's jacks, though. There are two jacks. Oh, and Helmuth, two two pots against Fraser, Luke. Fraser's had the better of him. No, he's like he made 80, a good fold. Yeah. 88,000? Maybe it was a standard fold. 108. And like, 108, it, was, it was a marginal decision whether to call or re-raise with a Jax, but he's going to be regretting it now. Uh, well, he can't feel too bad. He can only feel bad that he didn't re-raise it pre and then That's let all those I mean. players in the flop That's into the hand. But with Fraser's stack size, gonna, he's going to have to, once he has pulled way, three, he's going to have to stack off to them for like a half stack, basically. If he was full stacked, he could have got away from it. Four. And a limp here from Phil. Four. He's going to have a lot of problems if somebody raises this, Four. Luke, because, I mean, Four. he's only got like 22 or 23 big blinds. He can't really call, can he? A raise? No, he'll Four. have to shove. <coughs> Daniel just the ground who notices Phil's got an odd stack size, so he doesn't want to raise and then have a decision if Phil shoves whether to have to call the green suitors, which he won't call, so that's why he's left. Look at Giovanni. Raise to 29,000. No, don't, Phil. Oh, this is bad. <coughs> Unless he's planning to bluff it on some high flops. Or some some flops, not high flops, but just some flops. This is a bad call. And I mean, or unless he's willing <coughs> to go broke. Daniel's decision a little bit different. He's got a few more chips, right? Well, maybe, or is well, it? he doesn't. He, they, he's short as well. He's got less than two hundred thousand. Is this a hand that plays better? But I think it plays a lot better than, of course, Phil's hand. Yeah. So, but it's still a decent chunk of his stack. But like, I mean, if Negreanu does call, so he yeah. has to go <laughs> broke on Queen and King high flops, right? And That's he doesn't know whether it, they could have Ace King, Ace Queen themselves. Easily, Sabina could have a big hand yeah. raising with two people with them. He was really close to calling there, Negreanu. He knows Sabina's got something. He's not just doing it with nothing. And now Negreanu's obviously still Sick so Sick as a dog. Yeah, of course. <coughs> Oh, go on, yeah. Phil. Can he get oh, this? Did he save you, buddy? So, okay, his cool pre flop <coughs> is all right if he was good. Wow. He was just realized what he was playing against. No. And, uh, he knew he could take 
Yeah. Wow. Negrano just can't seem to do anything right. And Helmet. Top two was good. Maybe that's got his mojo going. Six. Something. Well, I actually think these two points are bigger for Roland than they are for Daniel. I mean, for Daniel right now, if he gets two points, he's still just... Yeah, he's pretty, he's nearly out of it. Well, he's not nearly out. It's not looking good, obviously. He need, yeah. He'll need a top two finish just to make it to the top eight. <laughs> I think Safina might be able, might be slipping into the final table. I don't know, he's, he's not playing too bad. Nice! Put a nice bluff Four. down in the beginning of this level. Hold. Hold. Fraser, and I mean, there's one guy who you're never going to squeeze Four. on, and that's Giovanni, right? I mean, you're not going to be doing that kind of stuff against his opens. Um, well, I would actually, because I know he'd never, he doesn't have it in him to play back with nothing. So if you three bet him with a rag hand. He can't just push you with nothing. And it, if only, even if he does make a bad call with something, you'll be taking it off him with the flop a lot. Check. It's an interesting flop. We got top pair and <laughs> straight draw with a backdoor flush draw. That's 50,000. That's, that's, that's a good solid bet. <laughs> big yeah. bet. It's a big bet. Oh, yeah. 50k, yeah. Then I'm going to set your internal time, but it's weird. I mean, not like a hand oh. Wow! Yeah. What well kind played. of fold is that? Yeah. He, doesn't, he doesn't want to put a 7 for this stack in the pot, I can understand yeah. it. Very close. Good, it's a good fold. Fold. <laughs> Nitty gritty down there. Fold. Fold. And... Tim Shanky, Shanko, excuse me, has uh, Negrano and Safina in the blinds. Oh. <coughs> Raised to 25,000. She's not. Yeah. Look at them all go like this. <laughs> Everybody wants me to put it in, right? They all want me to just stick it in like he that. Like, I'm not going to look at my hand. Hang on, let me see what I have again. Okay. And he's going to be getting called. They everybody, they want me to do this. They want me to just put it in and then take. Oh, too late. Never mind. It's in. Big kidding. I'm just. I, w I meant to do that. I, was, I wasn't shooting an angle. I meant to stuff it. Three raise. All in. 154, Hold. I think. Now. 164. What are the What are the dynamics for Russo? Unless she thinks that Daniel's mm, shoving here. So bad that she well, calls. of course he is it's shoving with points, no pairs, <laughs> But unless she thinks he's shoving with Ace Rag, I think she's points, got a fold. Yeah. A lot of the time he's got well, you know, you have plenty. Ace you 10, Ace right? Jack, Ace Queen, Ace Queen, Ace King, obviously. Well, she's not going to go both either way. She wants to know the price. I mean, there's number one. It's the close. I think yeah. that. No, but you can if you ask. Oh, okay. Um, I think there's a fold. So it's 110, 139. I think she'll fold, and I think it is a fold. Let's talk about There's 60 and 139. What price would you want here? Two to one, to call? Getting one and a half to one? Yeah. Just a bit pretty less, close, yeah. Right? It's pretty close considering my hand. Right? It's quite close. What, you have like ace eight, something like that? Ace nine? Yeah, I mean, when she says it first, she you knows it's ace nine. Things? Me? If I was in your shoes? I would, that, that would beat me in the pot, absolutely. Ace eight, ace nine? Would it be right nine? to do that? Oh, that's a different story. I don't know about that. This is interesting, so right. he's telling her the opposite, you obviously want he wants to fold um, so much. It's one of those tricky questions. How do I answer that one? Uh-oh, now he just went to the next level. He's about to answer it honestly. Now I don't he know. Went to the no, <laughs> if, if I win, I, then I, if I win, I want you to call, but if, if I lose, then no. It's, that's just that simple. I mean, could you ever figure out anything from what Negranu says? You could, but maybe the first thing he said, he said, I'll beat you in the pot really quickly if I had What's your that? hand. So King it's kind of like he's saying, you should have called already by now in a reverse psychology King way. Jack. No. So he's got, so he doesn't <laughs> want to Next call question. By saying he, I do not have he'd already have him in the pot. No. <laughs> I'm looking, she's going to narrow down my range, put it on a computer and figure out exactly what I have. Ace 10? Oh, now you're, now you're getting warm. 
It's so tough, man. All I'm right, sorry. I, I think he's like one of the best. Oh. He's one of the best speech up players there is. <laughs> 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 How are you gonna find out? Exactly. You can't you can forget say. him to talk you into. Uh, no way. Two minutes? Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, whatever. Make him do their own homework. I think it was a fold anyway. I don't know if his speech helped it. Yeah. I think it didn't help. Bad fold. Bad fold. I had you beat hundred. You use bad fold? No, I had an ace. I had ace. You had an you had an ace? Maybe it helps you to find out. I for sure had the best hand. There was no question about that. Ace nine. That's what I thought you had. That's what you said I thought I had. Wow. Razor's doubled me. through Helmuth. They've reversed roles on the leaderboard. <laughs> the Wolf on a very short stack, but with the way the points get awarded, don't expect him to push any too soon. <laughs> Everybody's not really used to oh. the different strategy decisions in this oh. tournament. I like the yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was going to do that anyway. I mean, I've never played a tournament what? like this with Who said that? on a point system, said, so I'm definitely no, don't new think to I'm it. Uh, shut no, up. I I was oh, going to do that this, anyway, yes, yes. and you have a small pair. Just seems your strategy is <laughs> to go out there and, and play poker and forget about everything else. <laughs> you hope like it you turns out all right. You know, yeah, especially just your queens, don't feel bad. Yeah. That way I should get a top eight anyway and get to the final, so I don't, don't need to worry to about points too much. Negrano is, well, he's just gone, isn't he? Oh, he is now. So I don't see him getting away from this one. Safina's come over the top of him like three, four times, always with big hands, but. Re raised to 36. I mean, he's already now. hating it, but. Bold. This one's a bit different. He can know he can have, like, his hand Bold. plays good against jacks, tens, nines. He only plays bad versus ace king. And he's going ace. So it's going to be hard for him to go away from it, I think. But he got away from the aces early versus Fraser. He's a great hand reader. Maybe he could do it again. We raise all in. Uh oh. Does it count? I think he said call. All in a call. He wished he said count. Oh, necrotic has been so unlucky. He has played well, too, hasn't he? He has played well. He's a queen away from zero points through two heats, and that is not going to be fun. Mm, so far. But, you know, it's not over yet. It's not it's over not yet, over yet but it's, yeah. sure. <laughs> it's not far from over. Daniel's not, Daniel's a lucky guy. Where's the lady? Oh, uh, I broke anyway, if I call. Safina on the verge of going massive chip leader mm -hmm. here. Or maybe yeah. not. Oh, you know what I mean. I would have got it in, me? what I should say. Knocking out Daniel Negreanu? Oh, oh, oh wow. my! Lucky me. Oh! King would be justice. Man, he feels so good right now. Mm. I got a total of... Italy! Not fair! 150. Not fair for Southern Europe! 195, 199. He combined all of it. That, he combined all of it. That's mean! He's back up to over 400. He's one of the chip leaders. He's second chip leader. That could have been the card that turns his Premier League around. Maybe. Can't beat him, join him. All right. Nice hand, kid. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> you feel like you was the only one rooting for the Queen? I, mean, I did, yeah. You ever get that feeling? <laughs> Welcome back to Premier League Poker 4 in Las Vegas. I tell you, don't check, don't check, pull, pass it down, right? Yeah, I'm not going to check. If I tell you, you don't need to check. Boss, it will be such a waste to raise, raise to try to pick up some more momentum, and raise up with the community of clubs. He's going to get these chips right back into action, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Benjamin's not going to go anywhere. Oh, oh. He's got position. He's got the ace-10 suited. It, it was so effective in his earlier match, Benjamin, just sort of floating behind he people. to 50,000. But, wow. And I like the play from Fraser. He knew it was a oh. he couldn't call out the small blind with King Jack off there. It's a great three bet. It's good. So Benjamin has to fold. I mean, if he calls, he's just kind of... Trying to hit something that's a, it's a bit leaky. Yeah, I mean, and it's a really. If he thinks that Fraser's at it, then he should just re raise, but yeah, it's fold is a good three bet. Oh. And Ace 10 plays so bad also against I I if it is one of the big hands, right? Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't be able to call <laughs> it. Very sharp stuff from Fraser. He 
Kind of shows that he knows what's going on. Is this sort of min re raise? It's a lot stronger than it used to be, huh? The you min know? re raise. Yeah. He did min re raise, though. Oh, well, 22, he made oh. it 50. Yeah, oh, yeah, I see it wasn't a min re raise. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's out. Right. He made it like 500,000 blocks. 50. 28. Yeah, what's the full raise actually? Yeah, it looks stronger than it was. I very well could be. <laughs> Safina just having a little countdown of the armies. It's had a lot of up and down lately. Four, raise six, eight, to 23. Still going for the raise. And. Benjamin's got a decision here. I mean, this flops so well, I think cool. he's just going to call. I think I'd just call there. Boom. Even though you're ahead of his range a lot. He jumped from seven to six. It just flops cool. so good. He's got position. Boom. Cool. Just think, he's been doing so well, sort of isolating Safina. Wouldn't you like to stick a little raise in there and just... And then he's going to know that Safina's just going to fold or, or go all in. And if he goes all in, he's thinking, oh, it's only... A, I'm just flipping, so... I think he's just got position. He's going to... Interesting to see if Timoshenko three bets here. Timing wise. Looks like he's going for a raise. Yeah. I, if he does raise, I, I want to see Benjamin stick it in with his stack. Stiff it, Benjamin. But I mean, there's some sort of thing about the timing and the stack raise. where it just feels like Timoshenko has. He, well, the thing is, David Benjamin's hands <laughs> under rep, so he thinks he's going to get past. He knows Safina's not going to re raise him here with something bad. He's just going to fold or jam with like. Jacks or tens of ace king, but he's gonna fold everything else. Just feel and like so he thinks Benjamin's just called uh, Safina's raise with a with a good hand. Oh. So his hand's under rep. So that's why he thinks it's. Uh, I think Benjamin's all in. And this is Benjamin. This is the one guy. He's he does this. He balances. You you have to be really careful of him, don't you? And this is a great play by Benjamin. He recognizes he under repped his hand. And that uh, he's well ahead of Tomashenko's range here, and he can shut up here. This is a good spot. And it's and it's why he's one of the most dangerous players in the Premier League, right? Definitely. Tomashenko knows he knows he has to fold now. And how do you feel about the fact that Tomashenko has just gotten totally owned? Um, if he had lost more chips, I would have felt better, but he only lost like 40, 50k, not for too much to start. Ace Queen Club. Right, so they don't need to look at the break because I'm sure they're going to want to. So everyone's in pain. He is cool, Benjamin. I think there's yeah, a couple of these guys that are really playing above the rim today. I like when you were Timo, Benjamin. Normally does me well. Yeah, it's been some high quality the six, seven hours today so far from <laughs> some of the players. <laughs> I don't mind. I really don't mind. He's on fire now. So Let's see if he gets any action. Has he just limped here? No, oh, he's just. And and yeah, this people. He's just limped. People, this has been waiting to be set up the entire match. As not just Negrano, but a couple people been waiting to set this play up. Cool. And it looks strong, doesn't it? Because. Oh now this is his wow. fireworks. Look, right. he's had two limps. Right. He's gonna have to call off all in Ball. when Negrano Ball. does Ball. re-raise. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, it, because Negrano's race here in the last four pots, it just doesn't look like he limped oh. with queens, kings, or aces here, does it? Oh. No, but at the same time, it doesn't look like he's going to limp raise with nothing after right. just winning three or four plots. Re-raise. 280, I guess. Or, sorry. 300. 300. Benjamin might know that Brown is not bluffing here, but I still think he has to fall. It's, it's tough, though. It's it's ace king here sometimes from Negrano, right? It is ace king here, yeah, sometimes. Fold. I promise one thing, though. If he moves me in, I'm not folding. No chance. I feel like you have ace king. I have what? So I really feel like you have ace king. So that means you have a pair of queens? Something close. Jacks, something like that. That was pretty tricky of Negrano to say queens, wasn't it? I just think he just has to pull. If he, he, as he says, he feels it's ace king or aces. He's put I might have six kings. big blinds in. He's got. He's put a fifth I'm not in saying anything about in. those. They're very uh, possible. It's just, it's just a cool Ace up. king's possible. 
I think he I can think get away from it. I he's think so he can good. get away from it. He's so good, he can get away from it. It'll be a world class fold. Great fold, great fold. <laughs> the Roland is sick as a dog. I did not have ace king. And I did not have aces, and I did not have kings. But I had you beat, so figure that out. Oh, you can only <laughs> do that in the Premier League. Wow, what a pass. Great fold. Good fold. Just didn't say, I didn't well, I think you could called. do that with tens. Tens? No, I wouldn't have. You were right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, I had to. <coughs> I have no See? Every chance that uh, this level's going to finish eight-handed. <laughs> and Timoshenko all of a sudden, is it an awkward stack he's got 30 big blinds? No, he's comfortable playing a 30 yeah. big blind stack. He does that all day. 20,000. <laughs> oh, did that when he used to have to grind online oh. bodies. Now he's made it. He just plays the live ones, I guess. Oh. you say he's hit the big time now? That's yeah, because cold. I need to. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this hand, but what can I do? Oh. Queen 10 suited. Heads up. Uh, knocked <laughs> Phil Helmuth out of some famous World Series events. Mark Cody. That's, exactly. That's probably the feeling you had about sure. it. Sure. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think I. You yeah. check behind if you're Timoshenko, right? There no? Since you always hit an ace high flop, yeah. though, I might bet it. That's why. Because I always bet an ace high flop, so I might as well check bet it with the check. showdown as well. Maybe. Just to keep balance. Probably would have jammed the flop, right? Maybe yeah, well, he's got a royal flush draw. And a gut shot, so. It's not exactly a weak hand. I think it's just cool now, though. We've seen Timoshenko fold such monsters. Even if Helmer fits, I don't even know how much money he's going to get off it. Call. Important pot, though, for both players. It has to come a low, a real low heart for Timoshenko to lose more money because, like, anyway. Sure. It looks so much like a king, even if Timoshenko is going to value better for sure. He puts Phil on, like, a kick jack or an a seven suited or something like that. So he's he's no worries about being behind. Bet forty eight thousand. <coughs> I guess I was right. I guess I got outplayed. He's laying it down. Yeah, of course he's gonna. Can I collect the ticket without playing? Just the right place? Can we get that for sure? Uh, I flopped the royal flush draw, is what I had. <laughs> Turned a coin. No, it's finished. Shelly says that. <laughs> the royal flush draw is so tilted he missed. Can we see the hand? Can you show us the hand? Lines hitting 7 and 15,000. We're still eight handed. And the players, Luke, have just got back from a break. What was the buzz? You were yeah, talking to a couple of them. Uh, uh, they were talking yeah. mainly about uh, on <laughs> the pocket sixes and the queen jack hand with Roland and Tomashenko. That was pretty interesting. I was playing a roulette at the win. You must have Roland that. was kind of saying that being that he's so short right now, his best play might just be to fall down to zero and try and pick up two points. Yeah, I mean, it's raised to thirty-six thousand. I don't know though. I don't really like it. Oh, like oh, he so figures if he gets 16 or 17 for three, that's going to give him a good shot for the top eight and a chance to win good. and get to the final oh. table. And Roland's wow. gone all in. So <laughs> maybe he was just he said to me first time. having it on, or oh. maybe he's got jacks. <laughs> he's got two jacks. Timoshenko is going to have to snap him off. Fold. Fold. I call. And a call. That was a Shut confident on, quick call. Confident quick call. Ooh, I cut it. Eight against jacks. Please. Please don't let me get this one fucked up like the last overpair. <laughs> Who passed eights? Who passed jacks? Who needs it? We need an eight, right? Yeah. We need an eight. He's on my team. This is big. Ocho. In the context of the week, the, the Premier League, this is big. Ooh. 
Something clubby. Something clubby? What's the difference? Slower. He needs an eight or an eight anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh no, Never sorry. I didn't, well, 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 <laughs> I didn't see the board as first. I didn't see the board. Wow. Club, club, club. Yeah, that's like the worst. It doesn't, make make a doesn't make a difference. Still the two eights. Oh, 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 so oh, sick. Wow. Brutal. Wow. wow. Oh. And so for DeWolf, he was probably willing to fold his way down for almost anything, but not that. And you know, even that has left him with the bagel and in a really tough spot now. 14 points through three games. Well, I can tell that you're really disappointed, so I'm not going to... I mean, I'm not that disappointed. I mean, I'm very disappointed, but it's just I kind of expect it now in these things. Like, they never let me win in like over pairs. I should have a lot more points and it's probably the end for me now. Yeah. Well, hopefully you can, can go next, You can go on year. and win the next I'll be one. Back next year. I'll be back next year. <laughs> well, you can go on and win your, your last league yeah, match, so. Will. I'll get the over pair again and <laughs> it won't hold up. I'll be back next year. Okay, well, we'll see you next year. Well, we'll see you in the next match as well. Thank you. Cheers. First player off the table in DeWolf. It's Negrano and Timoshenko now leading the way. Although, Stack's quite tight. Look at the top five. Maybe Helmuth's out of the picture and the way the points go. Pressure will be on Helmuth, chip-wise and emotionally. This league match continues next time when our poker pros battle it out for those vital points that put them in a top four spot and automatic qualification for the final table. Three, Seven and 15 lines and nobody's out? Come on, man. Bad call. Oh, come on. Damn it. <laughs> I need to drink after that hand. Every tournament should be like this.